Nugent. I teach fifth grade science at Bailey Elementary. And this is a culmination of lots of weeks of projects on the scientific method. So we have lots of fifth graders that do science fair investigations and they provide the information on a science fair board. First through fourth graders can also volunteer to participate. And um, it's just an annual event and it has been for the past probably 15 years. My name is Zoe. My project was how many numbers can the average fifth grader remember? My hypothesis was that the average fifth grader will remember seven numbers because it's a proven fact and has been done before that um, the average brain can remember seven numbers. To test this, I we have the participants sit down, give them a minute to remember to study the numbers, take the numbers away, give them time to repeat it, and then repeat until enough data is collected. My results showed that the experiment, um, the experiment showed that the average fifth grader remembered eight numbers. The highest was ten, and the lowest was five. My question of my project is: How much stride length affects the speed and accuracy of a pitch? Um, I predicted that when pitching a baseball, the further you stride to 100 percent of your height, the speed of the baseball will increase. The greater you stride, the more accurate the ball will be in hitting the designated target. Um, what I did to kind of set up this target was I had a little pop-up net that I just set up on the sidewalk, and then I had a pitching mound on the side of my house. <coughs> then I measured the height of my five test people, and then my dad helped me mark out the 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% on my dirt pitching mound. Um, and then we had the, my five test people, um, my first test person, um, he stood feet together and threw the baseball at the target. And then he did that five times and we were recording every pitch so we could rewatch it later to um, determine my accuracy point.